hold this. Like, just hold the marshmallow a little. Most of it will the ring. Oh! <laughs> A marshmallow battle could also be a science experiment. Today I'm going to show you how to make marshmallow catapults or slingshots and all you need to do this experiment are some big rubber bands and some kind of ring. We like to use the rings that we get off prescription bottles but you could also use um, the ring from um, a gallon milk jug or something like that. All you do is take the rubber band, thread it through the ring, like this, and then thread one end back through itself so it attaches on. Do the same thing on the other side. Depending on how big your rubber bands are, you might only need one or two, but you can make a second layer of rubber bands the same way, and soon you will end up with your marshmallow slingshot or catapult, which is ready to attach to the legs of a chair and have a battle, and you will learn a little bit about physics while you do this. Okay, so to make your catapult, just take your rubber bands and attach them to the legs of a chair that's turned upside down. When you take your marshmallow and put it in your catapult and pull it back, you're doing work on your marshmallow. And the work your muscles are doing on the marshmallow store energy as elastic energy. And that's easy to remember because rubber bands are kind of like elastic. Now we're going to study a concept called conservation of energy. And all that means is that energy doesn't go away. It just changes forms. When you let the marshmallow go and it flies across the room, the elastic energy turns into kinetic energy, which is the energy of motion. And once it hits something, it actually turns into heat energy. And when a flying marshmallow hits something and the kinetic energy turns into heat energy, it may not make that object feel hot, but it's certainly enough energy to make it hurt if you get hit in the face with one of these flying marshmallows. So use common sense and set your chairs far enough apart that you won't injure your opponents. Or better yet, just do some target practice with your marshmallow cap. So that is how you learn physics while you have a marshmallow battle. <laughs> <laughs>